So when you leave school, you're going to want to get a job and you're going to want to get paid. And there's a few different ways that you can get paid. Uh, salary, wages, commission, piecework. Uh, and I'm going to do videos on all of them, but today I'm going to look just at salary. So a salary position is one where you get told you're going to get paid this amount per year. A teacher is a job like that. Uh, teachers get paid a certain amount for the year. Now, if you were just getting that amount like at the end of the year, that would be a problem because you need to buy food throughout the year. So your school doesn't pay you that whole amount over the year. They pay you every fortnight or perhaps every week or perhaps once a month, depending on the job, whether it's a teacher or a lawyer, it might be a bit different. So let's jump straight into a question here. Bob gets paid a salary of $89,000 PA. That stands for per annum, which means per year. How much does he get paid per week? All right, so at this particular company, they pay their employees weekly. So to figure out how much he gets paid per week, we're gonna use the following formula. Pay per week equals pay per year over 52. Why 52? Because there's 52 weeks in a year. Now, approximately 52 weeks in a year. There's not exactly 52 weeks in a year, but that's what we assume, 52 weeks. All right, so we just plug our numbers in, 89,000 divided by 52. We get out our calculator and we'll get an answer of $1,711.54. So that's if you're getting paid per week. What if you're getting paid per fortnight? Now, if we're getting paid per fortnight, fortnight means once every two weeks. You're getting paid once every two weeks. That's going to be pay per year over the number of fortnights in a year. And if there's 52 weeks in a year, there must be half of that number of fortnights in a year, which is 26. Now, again, we just fill in some numbers. We put it into our calculator and we get $3,423.08, which, if you check, it's double this amount here, approximately, uh, because there's a little bit of rounding going on. Okay, uh, weekly, fortnightly. Now, my partner's a lawyer, and she gets paid monthly. So what about monthly? So if you're getting paid monthly, your pay per month will be equal to the total pay per year over the number of months in a year. And hopefully you know that that's 12. So now I can do 89,000 divided by 12, and I'll get an answer of $7,416.67. Now, do not memorize three formulas. There's not a formula for weeks and a formula for fortnights and a formula for months. All you need to know is that there's 52 weeks in a year, there's 26 fortnights in a year, and there's 12 months in a year, and then you just do the pay per year divided by the number of whatevers there are in the year. Now there is one more style of question that you might get asked when it comes to salaries, and that's sort of to work in reverse. So a question like this, Bob gets paid $900 per week, calculate his annual salary. So uh, in the previous example, we knew the salary and we were trying to calculate a weekly um, amount of money. Now we know the weekly amount of money, we wanna calculate the salary. So it's gonna be multiply instead of divide like it was in the previous example. So annual salary is going to be equal to weekly pay times, uh, now it's weekly, there's 52 weeks in a year, times 52. So that's going to be 900 times 52, get out our calculator, and we get an answer of $46,800. All right, that's all I want to talk about when it comes to getting paid using a salary. Um, in the next video, we'll take a look at like an hourly pay, which is what a lot of you might be familiar with if you've got a job working at McDonald's or something like that.